I've had this used PC for the better part of seven years, but today I'm going to be taking it back to eBay where I originally bought it for $50, but this time not as a big box, but as something much smaller. A lot of you might remember this PC. This is a HP Compact Pro 6300 PC. A few years ago, perhaps 10, 11 years, I'm not quite sure, but this was one PC that was ruling the waves. It was one PC that everybody wanted to have. I actually bought this off of eBay, and this PC really, really served me well when it was really in its time. I won't lie, I really had fun with it. The PC had everything I really wanted at the time. This was the time of the Core i3s. I used this PC for quite a while, and at some point, I just left it, kept it in the warehouse i never actually went back to it and today i was doing a little bit of cleanup and i realized that this pc has just been sitting not being used gathering all sort of dust not particularly broken the way it looks even though the front cover is gone the pc is pretty much intact the dvd drive is also gone and i just felt like it's not really worth my efforts to begin to go into this pc and try to bring back the parts and clean it so i felt like it was the best time for me to send it back to ebay where it originally came from but <laughs> sending it back to ebay i wasn't going to practically just take this pc and push it back to ebay i'm going to go ahead and take out the main board which is right there and i kind of realized that the main board of this pc tends to sell on ebay the whole pc in itself why I really not selling like one would have expected but for one reason or the other i looked through ebay and i saw that the main board was kind of being sold more often than the complete pc itself the reason might not be so hard to imagine just considering the fact that a lot of people had these pieces some few years ago and now these pieces are possibly getting defective because of age it's normal, it's what it is, it's expected. For somebody that has had this PC for quite a long time, he or she might want to keep using it and may just decide to buy a new mainboard. And this might be one of the reasons why this mainboard might be selling. Although I really do not have any use for this PC, I'm pretty sure that there's still a number of usable parts here just like the power supply. The processor itself, if I remember correctly, is a Core i3, but we'll be taking a closer look at that much later. The hard drive in itself, it's a 250 gigabyte hard drive, Seagate Barracuda. This is not our area of interest in this video. I'm going to be bringing out the main board and taking it back to eBay where it originally came from. Even though the PC came as a complete intact PC, but I've used what I would call the valuable life out of this PC. The PC has a lot of scratches. There are some dents that might make it very much uninteresting. There are scratches here and there. This is expected because this PC was always under my table and one way or the other the PC has received a lot of kicks which is expected. The main board itself says for about 30 euros and hopefully you'll find a lot of value in this video as you watch me take out the main board. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and plug the PC just to be extra sure that the PC itself still works. But like I said, I don't expect that the PC is defective because the last time I used it, it was still working. The only thing that was taken out of this place was basically the RAM. So for me to be able to test it out, I definitely need to get a new RAM stick and slot it on so I can see if the PC still works. Perhaps this is not the best setup right now, but like I said, I'm only interested in seeing if the PC actually still works but I have absolutely no reason to expect that this PC would not be working. At least it wasn't broken as at the last time when I used it but in any case I've gotten my monitor and also I was able to locate a 4 gigabyte RAM. The size of the RAM is actually irrelevant. It's all to enable me just put on the PC. All right, like I imagine, I can already see the green light on the main board, an indication that there's power being supplied. I've got my mouse as well as my keyboard. I'm just gonna quickly plug this on the front of the PC to just make sure that everything is well connected before we take a look. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and push uh, the power button. And interestingly, the fan is spinning which is an indication that the PC possibly works. And I think if I remember correctly on the HP PC, if you tap on the F10 key, it should normally take you to the BIOS setup. Oops. Uh, I think I didn't do that fast enough. So I'm going to press the power button again and once again click on the F10 key repeatedly. And exactly what I expected right here. 
I'm going to go ahead and look at the system information just to be sure exactly what it is. Like I said, it's an Intel Core i3-3220 CPU with 3.3 GHz. And this is exactly what I was actually interested in just to be sure that the PC is working before taking it apart. Wow. Interestingly, I've not seen the BIOS of a HP PC for quite a while. This used to be one of my best PC at the time, but now I've gotten myself something pretty much more recent. And okay, I'm just going to go ahead and apply default setting and exit and then switch off the PC and then I can start to take it apart. So very good. I'm kind of happy. It's interesting to know that this PC was used for about four years and thereafter the PC was sitting for like three years. It has gathered all manner of dust but this video is not going to be a cleaning video but rather me taking my PC's mainboard back to eBay. So without much ado, I'm going to start by taking out the cables. Just need to be a little bit careful not to break anything. So I'll try to pull off the cables so that I can actually get a better access to the mainboard. All right. And that's the front panel uh, connections. I'm just going to unplug them. There's actually no clips holding the cables. All I need to do is just to pull them out, of course, gently, so as not to break the, the cables or the pins. I'm going to just go ahead and push the cables right into the chassis of the PC because in this video, I'm not interested in the cables, but just in taking out the mainboard. So that can actually stay here and, oops. So I'm going to pull out the front cables and keep that there. And um, I'm going to be making use of the standard flathead screwdriver. And I'm just going to go ahead and take out the processor cooler. This is a proprietary cooler for the HP PC. And this particular cooler is also what you have in the small form factor version of this PC. And that's the processor right here. Interestingly, this appears to be the original Thermal Paste that came with the PC. And it's still looking very fresh, which is kind of interesting. I'm going to keep back the processor just to protect the CPU socket so that nothing happens by way of accident while taking apart the mainboard. So with this screwdriver, I'm also able to open up the screws on the mainboard. So I'm just going to go ahead and take them apart. So in doing this, it might be um, necessary for you to have a screwdriver that has a magnetic head. I'm going to be leaving a link in the description of this video where you can actually get one of these screwdrivers. I didn't see this initially. That's the cable coming from the PSU and going directly to the mainboard. If I see correctly, there's still one screw here and I'm going to take that out. And in this way, the mainboard is just able to slide out easily. This is exactly how I'm going to be sending my PC back to eBay. And hopefully in this way, I'm going to get at least part of the money I actually paid in buying this PC many years ago. This is interesting. This was the powerhouse of my PC many years ago. This PC was one of the many PCs that contributed to the success of my business. It's kind of interesting to know that things like this can really last for a very, very, very long time. All right. I won't be sending it back exactly this way. I'm still going to go ahead and do a little bit of cleanup so that whoever is receiving it will possibly receive a mainboard in a very good condition. So I've got here isopropyl alcohol and I'm just going to go ahead to apply a little bit of it on some cutting fabric and give it a gentle clean. Since I'm already in the process of cleaning the processor, I'm as well just going to take my hand blower and blow out the dust that has been sitting here for quite a while. But I must say that this mainboard is pretty much in a very good condition considering its age. It's not really as dusty like I expected. I'll definitely be taking out my RAM stick. I won't be selling it with it because I don't really think it's necessary. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug it and take it to the side. Alright, that's the mainboard of the HP Compact Pro 6300 PC. If you take a look at the mainboard, it's got in, uh, PS2 ports, it's got the audio jacks, a VGA port, as well as a serial port. It's also got a display port, as well as four 
USB 3.0 ports and two USB 2.0 ports and it's also got a LAN port right here. Nothing particularly out of the ordinary, there are no HDMI ports. In the recent generations of the HPs I've seen, they tend to have two display ports. It also has four SATA ports which is uh, interesting. It has got a PCI slot, which was a major consideration for me at the time because I needed to install a graphic card on the PC. And that's the BIOS and that's the CMOS battery, kind of a simple mainboard layout and everything looking pretty proprietary. And I remember back in the days, we used to reset the BIOS password of this PC by taking out the jumper and inserting it on one of these pins. I can't really tell which one it is right now because I didn't do it in quite a while. But if you are interested in seeing a video of how you can reset the uh, BIOS password on the HP PC, go ahead and comment down in the comment section below and I will see to it that I make a video like that. And that's the processor right here. Everything looks pretty much uh, decent. I really don't have need for this processor, so I might end up just leaving it right here, just as a way of protecting the CPU uh, socket. I'm going to go ahead and make a very good picture of this mainboard exactly the way it looks. And hopefully I should be able to give this to somebody else. Alright, I hope this video helps you to see what's possible and to see that even though the items that you have, your electronic devices might be old, you can actually still get money from them, selling them on a platform like eBay. I'll be making a follow-up video showing you exactly how it went. If you like this kind of video and want to be part of this journey, I encourage you to go ahead and click on the like button, subscribe to the channel. Until I see you again, peace.